Hey guys, it's Spooky Boo, and I'm back after being gone for two weeks. So, if you don't know, I live in Florida, and I was unfortunate enough to be hit by Hurricane Irma. And now, the, the, the good thing is, is I was not hit directly, I was actually on the East Coast, so we didn't get hit with the really hard part of it. But the funny thing was, is that Saturday, Sunday night, we lost power. And we did not get power until seven days later. It was, like, literally being without power was the worst part of the entire hurricane. Not even the hurricane, just being without power. And you might think, oh, it's just, you know, electronics and lights. No. The thing that sucked the most was the fact that we did not have AC. And I don't know how many of you know, but Florida is extremely hot. And every night it was about 90 degrees in the house. Now imagine trying to sleep in that. And I was practically naked and I was still sweating my butt off. It was horrible. I never want to experience that again. And it's just the fact that it took them so long to turn our, 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 our power back on. And the other thing that really sucked was everybody around us got power. Except for me and a few neighbors on our same, like, street side. So everybody else got power and it was like them mocking us. It was like so bad. Now, the good thing is, is we did not suffer many damages. The only real damages was a few shingles flew off of the roof, but the thing that really sucked is that our entire fence fell over. And it was already hit by the last hurricane, and we weren't really able to fix it. So this hurricane just made it ten times worse, and it just it completely fell over. And my dad had to, like, like stand it up so that had to lean against itself because we have dogs and we can't have them running around the yard. So, you know, that sucked. Now, one of the good things was is that we actually had a generator, but my dad was so scared of, like, overusing the generator that he would, like, turn it off at night because nobody can really monitor it or take care of it or be able to see if it needs gas or if it'll explode and kill us all. But, you know, so he would turn it off at night and we couldn't use it. And then the other thing that sucked is we didn't have the cord to actually attach to the house so we couldn't turn the AC on that way. So all we had was these like fans, but we, me and my boyfriend in our room, we would get like the poopy fans of the house because I wanted my parents to get the most out of the air, con the, the good fans because I worry about them more than me because they just need it more. So I let them have it and I suffered for their sake because I love them very much but you know it just got to that point where night after night it would be sleepless and we wouldn't be able to be comfortable and it just sucks I would rather be in the freezing cold because you can put layers on there's there's no limit to layers but when you are hot once you're naked that's it you can't get any cooler than that and the other thing that sucked was showering was horrible because it would be the coldest setting of um the you know it's heated up by the electricity so it's not oh just take a hot shower yeah it was misery i mean after a while i kind of end up liking it which is kind of funny but yeah it was just it was horrible now let me let me talk about this art it has to do with the hurricane so it's just basically me as hot as i could be and i'm holding my two little babies i'm holding milky and taki and they're both basically dying of heat too and that's basically all this is really about. I wanted to do a really quick doodle and showcase what happened, I guess. I don't know. It was just, I kept thinking about doing this whenever I was in the heat. And I was like, you know what, that would be a cute little picture. So I just went ahead and went with it. So hopefully with that, I will be able to go back to my upload schedule of putting, every, uh, putting a video up every Saturday. And just keep going with that and have new things for each week. And I actually am going to be doing Inktober this month, or next month, and uh, I'm going to be doing a Pokemon Inktober, so, you know, I'm not going along with the regular Inktober because I'm a, I'm a hipster, but uh, yeah, I, I already have everything planned out, and once that happens, that's what's going to be uploaded in October. It's going to be all my Inktober recordings, so I hope you look forward to that. 
And with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you liked my speed paint and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, I want to hear from you people, please. And leave me a like and favorite and all that good stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. So with that, I will see you next week. Bye! Thank you.